Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I am super excited for today's video because we are talking about spring and we are talking about lip products. My favorite season, my favorite beauty product, all in one video. What a time to be alive. If you are new here, hello, hi, welcome. My name is Fortune. I'm a certified professional makeup artist, but I just, I love makeup products. I love talking about them. I love creating beauty content. Makeup makes me happy. And if makeup makes you happy, I think you and I will really get along. So be sure to watch this video, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of it. If you check out other videos and you enjoy me, then do be sure to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. So you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. I do a lot of lip videos. I got a lip combo every Every Monday I upload that is a lip combo that I am wearing for that entire week so you will have seen a lot of the products that I'm gonna mention today honestly if I didn't have any of these in my collection like a, a little piece of me would feel like it's missing like that's how much I just like adore these products. The lip that I'm wearing today is really simple. I just took the Charlotte Tilbury Walk of No Shame. You would think this is more of like a wintry lip. However, you can transform any lip into a spring lip by just applying it a little bit different. Tap it all over the lips. Gently don't swipe because when you swipe a lip, that's going to add on the most pigmentation. But when you tap it into the lip and then blend it out with a finger, it's going to give like a lip stain look. I got this in an Ipsy bag and oh, Oh my god it smells like watermelon it's a very light pink and it has little like scrubbies in it so it exfoliates hydrates and tints your lip I wish I had come up with this because this is a brilliant brilliant product but this is gonna take any kind of lip shade that you have and just make it lighter because it is such a light shade of pink and so then yeah I threw this over top of the walk of no shame and then this is the lip honestly you guys know if you watch my videos i love a lip liner lip liners are probably like my favorite product like i would take a lip liner over a lipstick any day because i can take a lip liner perfect the outsides and then fill it in but i like a lip like this like there are situations that call for just like a bitten lip that isn't overdrawn that just looks very natural and i think this lip looks really really beautiful milk makeup lipstick that mike bought me in wifey how freaking cute is he berry kind of dark plummy shade i want to tap this a little bit more generously than i did the other one into the lips let us transform this bad boy again with the glow recipe see how it just softens everything it's a beautiful oh my god it's so good this is a little bit of a bolder springtime lip mac boldly bare and when i first got this i was like no I'm a lip liner snot, a snoot. I cannot wear a lip liner that doesn't match the shadows of my face. This does not match the shadows of my face because this is bright ass pink. Let us fast forward. This is the kind of color that just awakens the face. And what am I gonna throw on? Glow recipe, guys. Sorry, this video might be repetitive, but look at that. I'm gonna come in with you. My cat is trying to get me to go downstairs with him and I just can't because I need to finish. I'm almost done. Mm. Look at that lip. Stop it right now. Oh, guys, I'm not kidding you. You need this. You need, need, need this. And no, this is not sponsored. I wish Glow Recipe, you should sponsor me because I'm literally going to wear this for the entire spring, the entire summer. You're going to get a lot of content out of my ass. Not out of my ass. That's disgusting. Look at this freaking lip it is delicious it screams youthful it screams beautiful if there's one product that you need you need this and you also need the nyx lip plumper this makes your lips bigger it kind of just fills in the lines of your lips your lips look like five years younger i'm not kidding you so this is nyx lip plumper this is clear i'm just gonna throw this over top give it like a couple minutes to sink in you can wear this by itself you can wear this with anything and everything i use this every single day okay so so good this oh my god girl i love this let me show you what this looks like by itself it's so so pretty and it smells like a freaking jolly rancher i love the doe foot it's really really big but just like look at that it's like a dark purple oh my god it's so good look at that look at that look at that this will make your lips definitely bigger but this does the same thing in the sense where it goes and it fills in the lines and it just like plumps your lips naturally so good do we not love this lip look and it's so simple all i did was throw this on and i love this lip look almost as much as i would love a lip look with lip liner come on let's give her one more moment 
Like, look at just the way she picks up the light. It's like a sin that I'm even taking this off. Chapstick that I've been wearing on the regular. This is Jersey Shore Cosmetics. Shout out to Jersey. I'm a Jersey girl. And watermelon, they have a ton of different flavors or scents, whatever it is. This one is my favorite. Oh my God, it smells like watermelon, a watermelon Jolly Rancher. You guys get a theme, there is a theme here. I just take a little bit of this Charlotte Tilbury Collagen Lip Bath. Okay, this is so pretty. The packaging is so beautiful. I love the shade. This is in Refresh Rose. However, the NYX Lip Plumper, Lip Plumper, I can't speak, sorry, blows this out of the water and this is like, you could buy five of these for the price of one of these. I don't think this does like the best job of plumping but it gives a really nice shine. This is a really quick, easy, juicy, kind of hydrated looking lip. These two together are really, really nice. I'm just gonna be honest, I don't love this by itself. I don't find these to be super hydrating. And you don't need this chapstick. I personally just like really love this chapstick. You can use any kind of chapstick you have and throw this over it. What? You can come in, but you keep coming in and then you keep leaving. Two glosses that I absolutely love that I think you need. However, I think you need the NYX Lip Plumper more. So do keep that in mind. The State in the shade Drip. This smells like a cupcake. I love the doe foot. It's like pointed. Can really get in there and just like, ugh, frosted. The way that it picks up the light, it's just like frostedness at its finest. I don't think it makes the lips look as plumped as the other previous products, glossy things that I've shown you. Pair it with a lip liner. I really love this one. This is the Makeup Forever Up and Down Tan. Give a little bit more definition, a little bit bigger, just cause this again, doesn't have as much of like a plumpingness to it, but this is a really, really good lip liner. I love this lip liner. It's really pretty. NARS Chelsea Girls, it's just like the most beautiful, like look at this, peachy pink. It's a good peachy pink. This is like a beautiful nude, really pigmented. The first lip product I ever purchased from NARS. It is a staple, it is a beauty, it is a classic. I love her, she's easy, she's breezy, she's beautiful. And I think she will look amazing on people of any skin tone. Like it, this is just like a universally beautiful peachy nude. First of all, if you haven't tried a Flower Beauty lipstick girl, you, where are you? Are you sleeping under a rock? Because they're like Tom Ford, but you can buy eight of these for the price of one Tom Ford lipstick. It's like absurd that Tom Ford lipstick is like 50 bucks. I think these are like $8, same kind of formulation. They have beautiful tones. Just like, look at that. Mm. Look at that lip. It is so pretty. Okay, granted, I don't like a super peachy lip like this by itself. Would I wear this with a tan? Yes. Right now, I have not put any self tanner on in about a month, so I'm looking pasty pale, so I feel like this looks nice. It's a beautiful peachy nude, but it's kind of sucking the life out of me a tad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another lip liner that I love, that I think is beautiful all year round, but a great spring summer staple. And by doing that, can you see how that just added a little bit of like a shadow around it and made it look less pale? Mm -hmm. Like I just, I feel like it's a subtle difference, but again, can you see how that just like outlines it and makes it look a little bit more wearable? Okay guys, for the rest of the day, I decided to just keep it simple and use this product. I absolutely love this. Again, this is the one by Tarte in the shade dragon fruit. Let me know in the comment section, do you own any of the products that I mentioned today? Are you gonna go out and buy any of them because I mentioned them? Hypothetically, like which one would you go out and purchase? I am very interested in hearing. Granted guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. I will keep these products in a heavy rotation as I always do, but lippies are my favorite thing. And so these will not be the only lip products to grace my face this spring and summer. So again, do be sure that you're subscribed, click the bell. This way you get a notification every time a new lip combo video or any video goes live. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I had a wonderful time as always, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.